Hello dear students, welcome to the online teaching classes of Java for grade 10. Students, in grade 9, you have already learnt basics of writing Java programs, different classes for accepting the input, different types of loops, etc. So, in grade 10, you will learn Java programming in detail. But, before we proceed further, let's revise whatever we have studied till now and so is the first chapter of your book that is revision of class 9 syllabus this chapter is divided into various units and we will be revising each unit separately and sequentially the first unit is introduction to object oriented programming concepts students we can communicate with computer only if we know computer language. Computer languages are broadly classified into two types, low level languages and high level languages. As we know that low level languages have certain limitations like they were very difficult to understand and were machine dependent. Therefore, high level languages have been developed. They provide comfortable platform for the users to understand and design program logic. The high level languages are classified into two types. Procedure oriented programming languages and object oriented programming languages. The difference between POP and OOP is that in POP the program is divided into smaller parts called functions. Whereas in OOP, it is divided into smaller parts called objects. POP follows top-down approach. That is, first of all, the main module is developed, tested, debugged, and then the other modules are developed. Whereas, OOP follows bottom-up approach, which is just reciprocal of POP. POP does not have any access specifier, whereas OOP has access specifiers like public, private, protected, etc. Since the data values are global in POP, so adding a new function and data is not easy. Whereas adding data and function in OOP is easy as the data values are not global. POP does not have proper way of hiding data, so it is less secure, whereas O provides data hiding using access specifiers, so it is more secure. In POP, overloading is not possible, whereas in O, it is possible. The languages like C, Fortran, Pascal, Basic, etc follows POP approach whereas the languages like C++, Java, Python etc follows OOP approach. The most important basic principles of OOP are data abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. Let's understand data abstraction with the help of an example of a car. When you drive a car, you see steering wheel, accelerator, clutch and brake. You are not bothered about how they are designed to do their functions. Similarly, in OOP, only the essential information about the data is known to the outside world. Thus, we can define data abstraction as an act of representing essential features without knowing the background details. In other words, we can say that hiding the background details or the implementation of the code in order to reduce complexity is known as data abstraction. Another principle of OOP is encapsulation. In OOP, 
the data and functions are grouped and merged together in such a way that the data items are only accessible within the function of the same object. In this given example, none of the member of the class can be accessed outside the class A because it has private access specifier. But if the same class has a protected access specifier, then only the child class can access the members of this class A. Hence, we can define encapsulation as a process of wrapping the data and functions into a single unit. Students, only the private and protected access specifiers define encapsulation. Next basic principle of OOP is inheritance. The mechanism in which one class acquires the features of another class is called inheritance. The class that is inherited is known as superclass or base class and the one that inherits from the base class is called as subclass or derived class or target class. Students, super is a keyword that is used in programming in order to refer to parent class constructor. One class inherits another class using extends keyword. This given example shows that class A is a parent class because class B is extending class A. Therefore, class B is a child class. Being a child, class B has acquired all the properties that is data members in the member methods of class A. As it is already explained during encapsulation that if access specifier of a class is protected, then only the child class can access anything of its parents. According to the given example, any class other than class B cannot directly access any of the member of class A. That is, non-inheriting classes cannot access anything directly. So, inheritance can be defined as the property by which one class acquires some features from the another class. Inheritance promotes reusability. Advantages of inheritance are it allows less time in writing a program, it takes less memory space for storage, it enables faster program execution. Another basic principle of OOP is polymorphism. In OOP, an object may include a function that can be used for multiple operations. For example, if we ask you to give name to a function for calculating the area of a geometrical shape like circle, rectangle, etc. Then the name of the function can be area only but they may differ as in order to calculate the area of a circle we need only one parameter that is radius whereas for calculating the area of the rectangle we need two parameters they are the length and the breadth so you can see in this program snippet that single function can be used to carry out multiple tasks but the need is that the number of parameters and the type of parameters must be different. Hence, we can define polymorphism as a process of using a function or a method for more than one purpose. Polymorphism is also called as function overloading or method overloading. Dear students, this was all for today's Java session. Let's recall whatever we have revised today. Computer languages are broadly classified into two types, low-level languages and 
high level languages the high level languages are classified into two types procedure oriented programming languages and object oriented programming languages in pop the emphasis is on the functions rather than on the data items whereas in oop the program is divided into smaller parts called objects basic principle of oop are data abstraction inheritance polymorphism encapsulation data abstraction is the act of representing essential features without knowing the background details encapsulation can be defined as wrapping up of data and functions of an object as a unit the term inheritance means to link and share some common properties of one class with the other class polymorphism is a process of using a function or a method for more than one purpose students let's have practice time some questions are given to you to answer i will be sharing the answers of these questions in the next java session till then have a great day